picture to pop up and there it is, which means I guess we're live and um, hello and welcome. Hi, everybody. Um, late in the afternoon, early evening for a lot of you guys. Um, it's David Dorian Ross here. Uh, I don't even have my little fancy lower third name thing for the virtual pipe club, but um, it, today is Friday, the 8th of January, 2021. And I just wanted to come on for a real quick stream uh, to uh, to give a huge, like, um, I don't even know what to say about it. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by an award that we just won at the Virtual Pipe Club, um, or we were, we were honored, we were recognized, and uh, I wanted to, uh, to say something about that and also to give thanks to all the people who contributed to who are part of this. Um, and then also I have a, a quick Yabo, uh, two of them actually, uh, and then uh, an update on the schedule for this weekend for the Virtual Pipe Club. And I think I'm gonna start with that. Um, hey, Bill, <laughs> I know, right? Hooray for us, this is really awesome. It's really fantastic. Um, uh, let me start with a quick update just so that uh, I can get that out of the way. Uh, yes, there will be a virtual pipe club meeting tomorrow. I will not be there because I am on my way tomorrow morning early to go pick up my new puppy. I'm getting a new dog and I, I can't be more excited. Uh, I have to tell you, I mean, I love you guys. I love my time with my pipe club. I'm getting a new dog and it's, it's a new part of the family. So that's where I'll be tomorrow. Oliver will be running the meeting uh, tomorrow and um, he's got some great ideas for um, a big conversation and, and gathering. Um, I didn't leave him with a guest speaker, but I don't know that that means that he uh, doesn't have one lined up. It could be a surprise. Um, uh, Oliver, is that you? It says present. Uh, all it says on my end is Facebook user. <laughs> so I don't know who the, the, um, the, the YouTube group. It, it shows me the, the names of who's, uh, who's there, but on Facebook, it just says Facebook user. Could be anybody. So anyway, um, yes, new puppy. I'm going to, it's, it's a, it's a, uh, a purdle. I don't know what it's called actually. It's a it's a poodle mix with Great Pyrenees. So it's gonna be a big dog, but we're getting it just as a little puppy. I'm just so excited, I'm beside myself. Anyway, so that's what's coming up tomorrow. That's the update on the uh, uh, Pipe Club meeting. Yes, uh, it will be live and you guys can uh, count on the same time and it's gonna be a, 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 great, uh, a great meeting. Um, Pigden Pipe and says, smoking my Morgan bones right now. Awesome. Awesome. Is that the, is that the, uh, the club pipe that you're smoking? If it is, I agree. I was surprised. Like, I've had several of uh, Chris Morgan's uh, bones pipes. Uh, after I bought my first one, I was like, I really like these. So I bought a few more. Um, and then I got the club pipe. And I was like, this is a really good pipe. This is really a great smoker. So. Yeah, I, I was surprised. It's the first panel that I've ever owned, and, and uh, I, I even like the feel of it. Anyway, so that's the schedule for tomorrow. Let me talk about the, um, the recognition that we got. I'm a little hesitant to call it an award, but um, so Country Squire Radio, Country Squire Online, uh, does an annual best of show at the end of every year. And they talk about the best of in terms of um, uh, pipe shows and carvers and tobaccos that have come about and all kinds of things that are best of. And this year, they added a new category, which is best of pipe clubs slash pipe communities. And we were picked as the best of for 2020 in pipe clubs, pipe communities. And um, man, I didn't even know, uh, you know, we've had John David Cole on our show before as one of our guest speakers, and I really like him. I, I think he's such a such a nice man. I really enjoyed talking with him and, you know, having conversations around how he runs Country Squire and 
makes his blends and whatnot. Um, it's um, uh, Simplex One, man, how are you? Simplex Times One? I never even looked at that before. One simple times one. You know, that's the thing about when you're reading people's um, names on social media, on YouTube or whatever, sometimes you just make up your own. Could, could be something way different than what they intended. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm glad you're here, though. Man, I, I don't mean to make fun. I'm just having some fun. Anyway, uh, the... Uh, uh, but so John David, I, I don't think he was playing favorites and just because he was a guest on our show, he's a very thoughtful man and a very kind man. And, and he and Bo together discussed this. I'm sure they, they, they looked at lots of different pipe groups. Um, and, but we were selected as best of for 2020. And I'm just so, I'm just so honored. I'm just so, uh, but I, I don't, I don't want to say I'm so honored. It's a group, right? That's the point. That's the point of the whole best of is that, we are a, a community. We're a real club. We're, it's a very international group of people, men and women now. More, more women are beginning to, to join in and be a part of it. So it's, it's you know, multi-generational, multi-national. You know, it's, it's just a really um, fantastic phenomenon. And everybody has put in something to make it worthy of being selected. Um, Oliver, uh, who has been like he just he just jumped in with both feet and just took over so many of the things that um, helped to make the, the, the club successful, uh, helping to um, uh, you know approve people who are applying for applying you know asked to be members of the Facebook group um, to uh, put up the. Um, the way that we ordered the club pipes and got them distributed and everything, man, he's, he's been like a brother and I just really appreciate him. So that's been, um, you know, another person who really made the club possible. All the people who show up week after week, uh, you know, like our friend Dimitri, uh, who's like got a fan club going, they keep telling him, you must have a YouTube channel. You've got to, so please do, uh, you know, David Ramirez. I mean, um, like, Tons of people. I, I would be, I should just stop naming names because then I'll just have to keep keep naming a bunch of names. Tim Hynek, um, who has recommended some great speakers that we've had, um, everybody. Um, so we, we are honored and delighted to be named uh, in this award or, or this recognition. Best, best pipe club slash community of 2020. And uh, I like the drummer guy. Yeah, Jurgen. Uh, Jurgen, whose last name I can't remember from the top, top of my head. Um, uh, and my brother Phil from from Bonnie Scotland, who uh, I just I, you know I don't see enough of. Anyway, like I said, I should stop talking because I'll just keep on going because I'm so fond of everybody who comes to the meetings. Um, I, uh, I, oh, so I wanted to do a couple of quick yabos, um, if you don't mind. Uh, here's another thing that uh, I'm doing right now with this live stream. It was such an honor to be named as Best Pipe Club. I thought I wanted to come on and do a live stream about it. But this is also one of my New Year's resolutions. Uh, last week, we actually did a What's Your Pipe-Related New Year's Resolution meeting, a virtual pipe club meeting. And I didn't talk about this one, but but this was actually something I've been thinking about and thinking about that I want to do more live streams about pipe smoking. You know, um, there's a whole bunch of news updates that I've subscribed to about pipes, pipe tobacco, pipe smoking, premium tobacco, et cetera, et cetera. I thought it would be, you know, um, something that, I, that would be really cool to do is do live streams. And then we could do other things, too. We could do... Um, Yabos, we could do pipe review, uh, tobacco reviews, all kinds of whatever. Um, and the other thing I love about the live streams uh, is how people get together and, and connect with each other, even while I'm talking and <laughs> babbling on, on the side over there. Uh, also, um, I do notice that although I get 
to see the comments written on both Facebook and YouTube, all in one page here because of the software that I'm using. I also get that, um, that the Facebook people don't see the YouTube comments and the YouTube comments people don't see the Facebook comments. So just be aware that there's a couple of different groups that are chiming in and talking to each other and whatnot. Um, so let me do a couple of quick yabos and then we'll go on for, I got to go empty the car anyway. So that's, <laughs> so the first one is sort of a cheating cause I've already opened it. So it's not really a yabo. Um, but I got, um, a package in the mail from one of our uh, club members, uh, um, um, uh, uh, <laughs> why am I blank? Aaron comes here from, um, from Japan who sent me these little Japanese pipes with this tobacco. And now we've been talking about this in class, in class, in the meeting. And I know that we've talked about what, the um, the name of this tobacco is, and I did not do my homework. I don't remember what it's called, but I thought that I would at least kind of open it up and show you. So this is something like I've never seen before. Um, it is. It looks like sawdust or 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 bark dust or or dust bunnies you get under your chair. Like it's so fine. It's so really like shredded tobacco there, right? And you put it in just this little bowl of the pipe. And this is also something that Aaron sent me, this, this little pipe in this little box of tobacco. And truly all you need is just that much in the bowl. Kizami, thank you. So the Kizami tobacco is what, and, and he actually sent me a little version too, in case I want to sneak it into the car or something. I don't know. Uh, so th these are the, the two. Little, now I've never, I never smoked this before. I've never tried this before. So I, I, I did some this morning. I, I, I loaded up the bowl this morning. Um, and before I knew it, it had gone right to my mouth and into my lungs. Like I did not intend to inhale, but it just, it was, it burned so fast and just went in so quick that I, I inhaled it. And then it was like, <laughs> that was a lot. Um, so if you have a chance to have a Kisame pipe and smoke Kisame tobacco, be warned that you need to um, you need to draw slowly, not so that you don't um, <laughs> accidentally inhale. <laughs> I'm still recovering. <laughs> um, yeah, it handcuffed me. <laughs> Yep, it, it took me before I had a chance to resist. Exactly. Um, also, the other thing I'm, I'm noticing here is how easily it just gets makes a mess everywhere. So um, there that is. Okay, so that, that was my first one. Aaron, thank you. Thank you, my brother. And he sent me along with it this, it's just a very simple, here, let me put on the other camera, just a very simple little cut-off piece of bamboo, but it comes from a sacred kind of bamboo tree that he grows on his own property. This one is just, it's just very special. So as a tamper, so that's the thing. All right, now, here is my other Yabo that I'm gonna open. And why this is so exciting is because in here is some vintage tobacco that I happened to uh, get my hands on and stuff that I never thought that I'd uh, be able to find. And um, frankly, I don't remember all of this in here. So let's, let's figure it out together, shall we? We'll, we'll, we'll open it up together and see what that's like. Exciting. Um, it's like the post office doesn't want you to get into the package for some reason. Or I need a sharper knife. I'm not sure. 
Already, as the package is opening, it's I can smell it. There's like, I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, somebody sent me some pipe cleaners. Okay, that's a good sign right off the bat there. This is very nice of them. And these are the prickly kind. You never have too many of those, right? Let's see. Let's see what the first magical thing that comes out of here. Dun 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 dun. dun. It says made in Germany. It's Robert McConnell's Scottish cake, which I've never had. So that's why I've had. Anybody else had Scottish cake before? Paul the Piper says I never get a yabo, only hate mail. <laughs> um. Oh, Facebook user. Aaron, is that you? The piece of bamboo is a replacement stem for the Kiseru pipe. Ah, okay. Well, I just think it's, it's really beautiful regardless. Um, some Orlick Golden Slice. I have been a fan of this, Orlick Golden Slice, ever since we had Tom Eltang on the show. And Tom said that that's all he ever smokes anymore. Like he's just, like he doesn't, with all of the tobacco that he has available to him, he could probably get anything that he wants from anybody in the entire world that all he smokes anymore is or like Golden Slice. Um, this is, I wonder if there's a, a date on here. I don't see anything. So this may be just, Nothing special. Just it's just a nice, yeah. Orlick Golden Slice, OGS is good stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. And here's another one. This is um, Solani Virginia Flake with Perique, blend six thirty three. Again, looking for a. Uh, date on here, but I think this has got to be before Mark took over the Perique production. So that's beautiful. Um, I'm trying to be mysterious in here and bring it. I thought there was supposed to be more in here. Maybe there's a second package coming. But here is the piece de resistance. Oh, yeah, there was supposed to be a, a can of Cornell and Deal's black dog in here. Black, you know, I have to have the dog. All right, some of you have seen this coming out already. But here it is, uh, 1996 tin of three nuns. Dun, dun, dun. Anybody... Um, Anybody have a tin like this that they've delved into and want to give me a heads up on what to expect? I have read so much about this, and everybody that I have read um, just goes ape stuff over um, three nuns. So I, when I saw that it was available, I decided I had to, uh, I had to grab a a, um, a can of it. So there it is. But. I'm missing my black dog. Um, <laughs> that's all right. Maybe it's coming tomorrow. Um, wow. So what do you think, guys? Um, yeah, 24-year-old black, uh, three nuns. That's going to, that with the sawdust is going to put me right over the edge. <laughs> All right, so that was, I just wanted to share that with you because I was so tickled by um, the ability to get some of that stuff. Thank you. Yeah, nice haul. I know. I'm Like every so often, you, you luck into the ability to get your hands on stuff like that, and you just, you just have to go for it. So um, <laughs> it's, it's what it's like. It's kind of like, or, or either that or, or hair clippings that you get off the floor of the barbershop. Either way, it's probably... Um, but no, I don't um, don't mean to disparage this at all. It actually tasted very good. It was really a um, 
so fast, I didn't get a, a real deep sense of the flavor of this, but it wasn't like smoking hair or <laughs> something terrible, sawdust like that. All right, uh, my friends, um, that is all the uh, time I wanted to take from you. Um, how do I join the Virtual Pipe Club, uh, Like the Pipe Club? So um, every weekend, we over on Facebook, we put up all of the uh, links. It's a Zoom link. So if you haven't used Zoom by now, I'm only going to assume that you've been in a coma for all of 2020. And at which point I just say, I'm sorry to hear that, but it's nothing more complicated than, than just clicking on the Zoom link and, uh, and coming right in. There's, nothing, there's no gatekeeper or anything else fancy like that. There's no joining or membership or dues or blah, blah, blah. You just come on in and sit and smoke with all of us. Um, the, um, we do have our own Facebook group page and um, that's a great place to come and get the announcements and find the links. But in a lot of the Facebook tobacco groups, I put the link up. I, I, I'm going to probably put something up early tomorrow. So you might have to dig through some of the other posts to find it. Because right after I get up tomorrow, I'm on my way out to the country to pick up the dog. So I won't be around. Um, but then... Uh, um, I'm setting it up so that, uh, so that, um, so that I'm just getting a message here. I got to go in and help the wife. Um, uh, so that, um, Oliver will be able to start the club meeting and everybody will be able to get in and have a great time. Okay. Hope that helps. Listen, guys, uh, I hope that you have a, a wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you next. Oh, a couple of people asked me about upcoming schedule. So the schedule itself is always the same. Every Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. London time, we make the changes according to uh, the, you know, uh, daylight savings time or standard time, whatever, um, which only causes a problem for people who live in Arizona. Just... <laughs> you know, um, uh, the speaker schedule changes week by week. And right now, the only one who is confirmed is Chris Kelly will be our speaker from Eldridge Pipes. And he'll be our speaker on the 30th. We still have other people who uh, we're trying to coordinate um, for the 23rd and then for February. But the one person that I can tell you is coming is Chris Kelly on the 30th. So that'll be fun. All right. Thank you, guys. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a great night. And this is the off button.